Matt Lauer goes shopping with his daughter and watches her horse riding lessons with his estranged wife Annotate, two weeks after being ousted from his spot on the Today Show. The disgraced former Today Show host Matt Lauer was spotted with his daughter and estranged wife on Sunday, doing some Christmas shopping and watching the young girl during her horse riding lessons. The 59-year-old was photographed in South Harbor, New York, with his daughter Romy and one of her friends all bundled up just the day after winter's first snow descended on the state. Photos show Lauer carrying out what seems like a normal Sunday afternoon, but his left hand is noticeably without a wedding ring. Lauer was bundled up in a black puffer coat zipped over a gray sweater with a black cap on his head, loading bags of what are presumed to be Christmas goodies into his trunk. In one photo he can clearly be seen with wrapping paper in one of his hands as he struts towards his jeep. He is then later pictured at the stable to watch his daughter ride her horse through the afternoon. At some point his estranged wife Annette Rock, 51, eventually joined them at the stable, but exchanges no pleasantries with her disgraced husband. The stunning former model looked comfortable and casual in leggings, the navy puffer jacket and up boots, before joining her daughter in the ring. Also at the stable with the distanced couple was their youngest son, Fidjays. While Lauer is settling into his downtime, Bosses at his former home, NBC, are still tense over the possibility that more accusations may emerge about him. The company has held around 60 HR meetings with staff in order to get ahead of any other possible scandals that could be lurking beneath the surface, insiders told Vanity Fair. One of the questions asked in those meetings is who else knew of Lower's alleged misbehavior, which reportedly includes sexually harassing female staff at NBC. Some there have questioned whether the heads at the network knew of the claims, but some believe that he was so good at hiding his acts that it's entirely plausible that nobody else knew. If people stop and think about it, an unidentified senior journalist said, it's not surprising a lot of people didn't know, because it was all done in secret. Matt's a very organized guy and very adept at leading that kind of double life. And on Friday, 10 days after Lawford was fired from his $25 million a year host job, his former co-host Katie Couric finally spoke out about her friend's actions. Couric posted a sweet photograph to her Instagram of she and her daughter Carrie, who is now an adult. And in the comment section someone brought up her silence, calling her a hypocrite for not speaking out. Nothing to say on now. Her, y'all would have been all over the store years ago, the Instagram user wrote. I watched y'all for years. My childhood. Just goes to show you really can't trust people. He interviewed people on their moral character and had none himself. Number sign disgusting number sign double life number sign hypocrite number sign sickening I want time back I spent watching. And you have nothing to say. Crickets. People hear you loud and clear though. And it seems that was enough to push Kudrick to break her silence, as she quickly responded with a simple statement. It's incredibly upsetting and I will say something when I'm ready to. Thanks for your interest, she wrote. It's not clear what will happen between Lawward and Rock. The source who worked with Lawward told People magazine on Thursday that the couple's marriage had been strained for years, and that Rock filed for divorce in 2006. She claimed that claiming that Lawward performed cruel and inhumane acts against her and demonstrated extreme anger and hostility that endangered her mental and physical well-being, according to court documents. The pair reconciled but the relationship never regained its original luster with the source saying that to live totally separate lives. Lawnmower was essentially living as a single guy in Manhattan, said the source, while Rock stayed in the Hamptons along with their three children.